get free ride points, gift cards, and much more. And make sure to use the code MONK to receive an extra 50 points. Alright, what's up? What's going on guys? Captain Monk here. In today's game, playing some Syndra in the mid lane with the Atlantean skin. Let's get ourselves here. Dorn's ring, a few health potions, and the warning trick and head onto the lane. Look at the teams here today, guys. Of course, you are truly playing at as that Syndra in the mid lane. Also got Sirius playing as our Nautilus top. Welk playing as that Olaf in the jungle. Rock, Paper, Zed playing as our Vayne 80 carry. And last but not least is Void Squid on the Thresh support. It's looking like we're against a bit of a weird composition here, but it is a composition nevertheless. So, uh, Singe in the top lane, Ivern in the jungle, then Shaco mid. And that's really what I'm thinking is odd. The rest of it's not so odd, but then again, it could be Zillion mid with Exhaust, and then Shaco support with Ignite, but I kind of doubt that. I think it's more likely the Shaco in the mid lane, but we'll see. And then the Ezreal to carry, but I'm really hoping it's not Shaco mid, to be honest. I really hope it is Zillion, because Zillion's a more standard mid lane, that's what I want to show you guys, but... If it is Shaco, then I guess I'll try and show you how I would handle the situation playing against an AP Shaco mid. Because, I mean, I don't think he's going to go AD Shaco, right? Like, just, that's just unlikely, so we'll see what happens here. We'll hopefully be against Zillion, but if we aren't, that's that's okay. But yeah, seeing like cheese lanes with AP Shaco bot lane, it's like it's a, it's a thing more commonly than mid lane Shaco as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, we'll see. But either way though, guys, of course, as always, make sure to drop a rating on the video. It really helps out a lot. Whether it's a like or dislike, doesn't really matter. It's about total ratings and either way is really appreciated. And it is in fact a Shaco mid. So I'm going to auto attack him here a little bit. He's going to place a box and I'm going to go and try and take that out right away. And I will do exactly that. Okay. Extra CS for me an extra 10 gold. I'll take that with a smile on my face, but not really. And let's get these minions here. Okay, cool. I didn't want to lose it to the turret, so I wanted to use my Q there to make sure I didn't lose it. And I get this next one. I'll attack Shake a little bit here because we can. And oh, I was hoping to get the Thunder Wards proc, but not quite going to happen. And missing a minion now as well. That's okay. Another Rob's hack in there. Whenever you're playing against a melee target as a ranged champion, especially, if you get the opportunity where there's no minions you need to last hit, just look for auto attacks, like right now. Like, yeah, he's gonna hit me a little bit, but I, that cost him mana, and I'm gonna get the luxury that is some damage on him. And there we go, Thunderlord's proc, nice. Yeah, he's getting nice and low, but we're also getting kind of chunks, but I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna pop my first potion here, though, and get some minions. And I wonder if I can throw his boxes. Wouldn't that be so hilarious if I could throw his boxes? I feel like I can. That would be so great if I could throw his boxes at him. It's like, hey, here's your box, but let's just... I, I, dude, I can fucking throw his boxes. <laughs> that is so funny. You want to throw your box at me? No, I'll throw it right back at you. That's how it's going to go. And I was going to hopefully last it there, but not quite going to happen. Let's go and stun him up, though. And what? I didn't get the stun. That was weird. I guess my Q must have slid past him, but my E still hit him. That kind of happens from time to time. It's a weird hitbox, but normally it's not too bad. Minions, and that box is gonna die. Yeah, I could use my spells to kill the box, but I'd rather just let it die rather than use my spells and waste mana to get 10 gold. Whoops, missing that one. It looks like first blood is gonna go down there though. And there we go. There's a way to get both of them. I like it. <laughs> I was thinking like, how do I get both these minions? And I, well, I found a way. And I'll just go ahead and knock them away. And I should be able to walk out, juking the Q. And actually, I'm gonna try and kill this Ivern. Oh wait, he's. He's juking right with me, though. Come on. Okay, I got his flash, but he got mine. It's kind of unfortunate. But you know what? Flash for flash isn't something too bad. I don't mind that at all. And I'll go to an auto attack shake a little bit. Yeah, take some auto attacks to the butt. Because he's got a back here pretty soon. And so so do I, but like less than him, because I got more HP. So I can kind of stick around. And now that I know that his jungler has got him to go back to base, like... It's not too bad for us. Toss the box over there. I don't want it near me. And I'm missing a lot of minions here because unfortunately my attacks are kind of weak and I don't have mana to use my spells, so just kind of chilling, but we'll be okay here in a moment. Use the Q to get those last ones. Alright, nice. And yeah, I think I'll go back from here. We're at 26 minutes. He's at 12. Like, we're doing okay in this lane so far. It's a little bit of an awkward lane, but we're doing fine. But ball lane's having a lot of troubles though. 2-0 and o already on the Ezreal. Bluff died, Vayne died, Fresh died. That's definitely not a good start for us, but top lane's gonna bring it back. Getting the kill there on Singed, very nice. We'll get ourselves here an Amplifying Tome, I think. And Boots? Yeah, I think this is what we wanna do. I'd much rather be able to go back and get the full uh, Lost Chapter instead of just getting the component like that, but we don't have enough gold. We had to go back because we used our spells too much trying to fight this Shaco. 
and CS and stuff, but he is catching up in the CS here, but not by too much. But as we're turning to lane here, I may as well mention a few things I want to bring up in the video. The first of which is, uh, as the League of Legends client has been updated, the beta does not actually have a chat room anymore. And so for those of you who play with me often in my recordings and stuff, uh, there's really just no way for you guys to do that with the way the League client's set up. And that is why what I have done to kind of make up for this is I have set up a Discord server that is partnered, and literally all of you guys can join it regardless whether you're playing on North American servers or not. So there's a bit of an advantage there compared to, uh, you know, in the past where only people who are North American servers could play from the chat room. But then again, the problem still lies that I only play in North America. So if you don't play in North America, you can join the Discord server, and that's better for you. But I'm still not gonna be able to play with you because I don't I don't play on other servers. So if you want to play on North American servers with me, and you don't play North America, like that's up to you, but you're going to be lagging, and that's probably not going to be in your best interest. Let's just go ahead and toss this back at Shaco. You want to place a box next to me? Who do you think I am? Some champion is not Syndra? <laughs> Alright, we'll get some minions there. He's placing a ward in his own brush that he, well, Ivern created it, but you get what I'm saying. And actually blew up up here soon. I'm going to ask Olaf for that when that's up. And... Damn it, I went for the box instead of going for the minion when I really should have gone for the minion because then I wouldn't have gotten the last hit. That's okay. I really want to kill the Shaco here before I hit. he gets a little sick. So let's see if we can do the damage here to him. We got a nice amount of damage on him, but is it going to be enough? One more auto-attack. Come on. Come here, Shaco. Give it to me. Yeah, we got him. That's why I like Ghost on Syndra. <laughs> so you can chase down the wild gesture in the jungle. No, not, not really, but whatever. Still, still a really nice way to get a kill there for ourselves, and uh-oh, found the Ivern. He's going to miss his Q, luckily for us, so I'll just walk right on out. Thank you, Ivern, for making that easy for me. And with that, I'll place my control word and go back to base. But I will ask Blue after I base. I'll just communicate with Olaf a little bit. And looks like Nautilus getting the solo kill on him. Nice. Good job, killing that Singed. Let's get ourselves another Amplifying Tome in the, uh, what's that thing called? The Lost Chapter. And I'll get two potions as well. I don't need to get another... Control word as we already placed ours, and I would like to get a refillable at some point, but I couldn't afford it as it cost 150. And I only had for 100, so I'll get two potions, and that's actually not too bad for us because we do have the biscuit mastery, so it's it's okay to be buying biscuits every once in a while. But yeah, we literally have double Shaco CS right now, and killing him there was really really good for us. And so with that, I think we'll be able to take that pressure on onto the rest of the map and make shit happen, and pick up the. Orb, actually. I was trying to hit up the box, but that works. And watching get the stun there, I was not expecting to get the stun because my orb went all the way over here and Shake goes off to the side. That that felt wrong. That goes to show that the weird hitbox that Syndra's E does have when used, used in unison with your uh, your orb. Now let's go over here and get the blue buff. Thank you, friend. Very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Okay, let's head back here. Shaco is missing. So yeah, the Discord link is in the description here, guys. If you want to check that out, definitely I do recommend it. Especially for those of you who play North America, as it'll be a really easy way for you to play in games with me. And he's using his Deceive there, so I was thinking I would just do some damage to him. Get rid of his box. Yeah, I was hoping to actually knock him away with my, my E, but I don't think it actually worked. I think it did something different. Where are you at? I think it's this one. I'm right. Alright, I kind of took a guess there, a shot in the dark, and I was right, and that is always nice when that happens. The reason I could tell was just because the player's movements, or the, ch the character's movements, just seemed a lot more champion-like. It seemed more realistic, right? It's kind of like when you look at a photo, and you're like, that's photoshopped. That's kind of how I looked at it. I was just like, that, that Shaco's not moving the way I think I'm a Shaco should move. I'm just going to go with this one. And I realize that's not really the best advice, because I'm not really telling you what to look for yourself. But I think, in a lot of cases, I find myself just... And yes, I will get this. That's a good idea. I do find myself just kind of knowing. It's kind of like with Wukong when he uses the decoy. I can always tell whether it's a real decoy or if he's just kind of standing still. There's just a few things that just kind of, you can just kind of tell just from playing the game and being experienced and just knowing kind of what to look for without actually being able to vocalize what it is you're looking for. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys. And is Shaco going for me again? Like, bro, you've, you've been down this road before. You know where it ends. <laughs> what do you think's gonna happen? Like, now you have to dance around your own damn turret just to try and survive. Is that really what you want to be doing this lane? I don't think so. Alright, well, let's let's toss the minion at him. Is he going to go on me? He is. I'll just knock him away. Do some more damage to him. And kill his box, too. And proc that Thunder Lords. Mmm. Feels good, man. Yeah, take that. Take your own minion to the face. And I almost have my ultimate again here, so when I do, I might just go for another kill. 
Ooh, almost had him. I was playing on Flash in that Raptor Pit as soon as I hit the alt and killed him, but I didn't get the killing part of him done. And I have to fl Ghost here if I'm gonna get away from Singed, which I think I can do. See, this is why Ghost is so great. And I'm doing this to Singed. Oh, I thought I was gonna get the stun there. But the reason I did that is because I knew Olaf was on the way, so I was thinking maybe we could do some damage to the Singed and maybe kill him, but it's not looking like it's that good anymore for us. I'm worried about Shaco finding me and assassinating me, because he is an assassin of the day, and I am kind of low. Unless I should just pick up the Siege minion, toss it back at the fight. Nice. And actually, Zillion's around, but I'm not sure what to think about that. Because like, I'm just far mid lane, but Olaf's fighting him up. Oh, actually... Okay, nice. He timed that perfectly to kill. I'm very impressed. Good job. Okay, and I'll just go back here, actually. Looks like Nos is going to get a fight here onto the Singed and the... What's that guy's name? Ivern, that's right. But he's he's actually 2 be one so far. How is he pulling that off? I'm not sure, but he's doing it. Props. Mad props. He's actually going to get the kill there on Ivern. Is he going to get away from the Singed? He is. What a beast. And that's not what I want. I want this item. Okay, and heading back to mid lane, we do. So, we have the Merlin Namacon here, guys. Uh, extra ability power, of course. Extra mana. You really want that as Syndra because you are spamming your spells like crazy with this character. And to make that even more easy, we have more cooldown reduction now so we can spam our spells even more frequently. And the extra passives are really nice because you get some extra uh, kill and assist to restore 20% of your mana. So if you do stuff as Syndra, you get mana back. And that's dope. Uh, and of course, the last thing is that you prevent some healing. But that's kind of like, I don't know, a cherry on top of the item. You don't really care about it. It's just kind of there and it's kind of nice. But... It comes in handy sometimes, but most of the time you don't really notice that making a difference. It makes a difference against champions with like a lot of you know healing when they're low, like Aatrox, for example, or Lifesteal, really. That's kind of weird that the box becomes untargetable like that for a moment, because I threw my Q on it, didn't do any damage. My auto attack did after it hit a split second later. Very strange interaction there. I was hoping he would walk into that. Not quite going to happen. But still, our farm is really good this game. Because this Shaco is just putting no pressure on us as Shaco mid. And that's kind of what I expect. I mean, it's a Shaco mid. Like, I don't think he realized what he was really getting into by playing this guy. But the rest of his team is doing pretty well. Aside from their, I guess, their, sh their Singed. We're going to murder. Unfortunately, get a miss. Yeah, I don't think I can kill him here. I missed my stun there. Hitting the stun was kind of key to making that work. And I missed it. So, it is what it is. We'll just head back to the mid lane here. And see what else we can do. But yeah, that kind of summarizes the Discord point I wanted to make, though. Definitely check that out, guys. All of you, I recommend to check it out. Even if you aren't playing North America, because you can hang out with us in the chat there, and that'll be fun. But uh, if you are playing North America, I especially encourage you to hop in there. Because that'll be the best way to play with me. As Discord's a lot easier to interact with people through, versus the chat room on League anyways. So it should be really, really nice. And it's a pretty easy link. You just open the link up, and it brings right to the Discord program. Uh, unless you don't have the program, in which case you should download it, but instead it'll put you in the browser. And playing using Discord through your browser is actually not too bad. But yeah, using the program is definitely better. And it looks like Nosky another kill. Damn, he's just going ham, and I'm actually getting chased down. I have to ghost. I'm actually dead. Ezreal showed up. I did not realize Ezreal's there. I didn't realize they're at Dragon. I didn't... Yeah, I was unaware of everything going on there, so that's unfortunate. But we're going to get ourselves here the Sorcerer's Boots. And Nautilus getting that top turret. Nice job there. And I think what we'll do here is watch we'll you get ourselves. We actually, don't need a control word. Ours is already there. I was just looking at my total gold and thinking I can get a control word, but yeah, we really don't need one. Uh, another thing I should mention here, guys, is my Instagram page. So some of you might be already familiar with what I'm talking about. If you're not, essentially what I did is I posted a before and after photo, uh, January 1st, and a photo I took earlier this week. And uh, well, people were seem to be really liking. I mean, I'm already at 300 plus followers on uh, Instagram from it because I advertise it to you guys a little bit. And the purpose of this Instagram is I'm going to be taking some photos of fitness related stuff just to kind of show progress and shit like that. But I'm more so going to be leading towards posting uh, like workout routines and stuff. Because like, people have been asking me like, you know, how did you get to where you're at now? And well, it's hard to just, you know, say in a sentence and write and explain it to people. You kind of have to show. And so that's why it is I'm going to be doing that. Because I think that'd be really cool to just record some of my videos of myself working out and showing you guys what it is I do. And I'm going to also like add some text, add some music, so that there's a bit of an explanation of what it is I'm doing and what to be thinking about, but also some music to make it more enjoyable to watch. And yeah, I think it's going to be really good. I think you guys are going to like it. So if that does sound interesting to you at all, uh, I mean, first off, check out the Instagram page. There's only the one photo there so far, but soon enough, soon enough for sure, I will have... See, the box didn't take damage there. Right, that's what I'm talking about. The box goes untargetable for a little bit. Let's go ahead and just fight this guy up. 
I'm confident we can kill the Ivern first, and then move on to Shaco. Toss his box at him. Yeah, see you later, Shaco. Ooh, nice flash, though. Oh my god, Void Squid with the plays. What a beast. Holy crap, that was so good. Well played by him. That was all him. I just picked up the Lantern and finished off the Shaco. But holy crap, was that ever impressive. Lanterns, flashes, gets the hook. All perfectly lines up. And that puts us at 4-1 and one with 138 CS. Really nice for us. Let's go ahead and just take out this minion here. Actually, he's going to die by my auto attack. Did not see that one coming. Okay. And I guess we'll keep pushing down mid lane here because why not, right? We can keep doing it. So yeah, that kind of summarizes the Instagram page, guys. I definitely recommend you check it out. Um, of course, not much content there yet, but if you start following it and I get a nice amount of people interested in what the content is that I plan on posting, then I'll you know be more motivated to be like, okay, you know, people are actually interested in this. Let's, let's do this. Because I'm already pretty psyched about doing this. But 300 followers, like, yeah, it's a good number. I'm very, very, very content with that. But I want to see if we can get, like, a bigger a bigger percentage of my YouTube viewers interested in that sort of thing. Because I know my channel's all about League, and I know a lot of you are like, I don't give a fuck about your, your fitness and shit. Like, I, I watch you for League of Legends. But, like, I want to branch out, right? I want to be more than just a League of Legends producer. I want to do more. I want to encourage fitness, right? Because, like, I wasn't really into fitness at all until this past year, and it's changed my life for the better, that's for sure. So I definitely want to get you guys into it. So at this point in the lane phase, I'm literally just able to just walk up and farm everything I want and then leave. No one can really fight me at this point unless their bot lane shows up. And their bot lane's dead right now, so we we'll have to worry about them. But at some point, they might re-return re to the mid lane. I have this sense for this game that it's one of those games where early on, right now, it looks like it's kind of a cakewalk. And that's, that's the case because it's Shaco mid. This guy's not very good at Shaco mid, not to mention I just I counter him super hard. I can literally throw his main damage source away, right? So I don't really blame this guy for doing bad against me. What I think is going to happen, though, is I think Sin is going to scale gradually. He is, he is up farming uh, Nautilus. And yeah, he's dying right here, it looks like. But I do still think, yeah, he's still going to die. I, st I still think he could scale up later on in the game. Uh, I, think this 80 I think this Ezreal might carry. It's possible. And Lantern from Thresh, thank you, sir. And actually, I don't know if I like this so much. It's just three of them. Make sure we don't lose that minion there. Okay. And actually, Olaf looking for something, but Shaco might just decoy away. Well, not decoy, but yeah. What's that spell called? Deceive, I think it's called? Alright, we got him. I didn't actually get anything for it, though. But I had the right idea, I think. And hold on. Here's the fight. Hey, there's the ult on him. He is actually gonna get Zillion revived, though. No, he's not. Wow, I thought I did more damage than that. Oh, it's because he has a Fiends. That would do it. Oh, here we go. See you later, Zillion. You're up. <laughs> and actually, here comes Daisy? Actually, get no, Daisy's gonna back off. Okay. Oh, no, Ezreal's here, though. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna get rid of this first. Yeah, we're in an awkward spot here because Olaf's got no mana. Uh, Daisy's on us. Let's just toss Daisy to Ezreal. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. 50 gold. Worth. Alright. Yeah, let's just back off, though. And actually, looks like... See? Sinja's gonna get... Gonna catch out Nautilus here. I'm gonna try and help him out, but... I'm not sure there's much we can do really do here. No, we got him. Nice. Get ourselves that kill. And actually, Shaco's here. We get him as well. We are gonna get him as well. See you later, Shaco. Saving our team... Our teammates is actually coming in handy here, it looks like. Are we being chased? I don't think so. But it looks like Thresh did go down. Did Ezra get the kill there? I think he did, because he had five kills last I checked. What, does he want to get Rift Herald, or...? I'm not really down for that, though. It's kind of a, not the best idea right now. Yeah, like, I'm sorry, man, but, like, they're pushing mid. Like, I need to be defending this. That's not what we should be doing right now. If you have no mana, why do you want to go for Rift Herald? <laughs> I'm sorry, but, like, that doesn't make sense. Oh, man. All right, I, I guess I didn't get stunned. I should live from the Zillion Bomb here. It's going to do some considerable damage, but I'll, I'll be fine. I got a flash. I don't want to risk dying to that Ezreal. I'll just walk up and finish him off. <laughs> I mean, it was either me or Thresh gets the kill. I'll, I'll take the kill. I'm the mid laner. It kind of makes sense. So let's go back here. Get ourselves that finished Rylize. And our next item here will be, I think, Rabadons. But I'm not entirely sure because I'm thinking Abyssal might be pretty good as their team has a lot of magic damage. But all their magic damage threats are weak. It's just Ezreal. So I don't know. I think Rabadons. Let's do that. 
I have the blasting one, so I might go into Void Staff actually, as they're building some magic resist. But I'll more than likely go into Rabadons. So there we go. I talked about Discord. I talked about Instagram. I kind of have a list on my second monitor here, just to make sure I don't miss any topics. Uh, oh yeah, another topic. Uh, as it's de December first, at the time I'm recording this, uh, one thing I should probably mention to you guys is that well. <laughs> Uh, for the entire month of November, I didn't shave, and you guys didn't notice the damn difference, and that's because I don't grow facial hair, I don't know why, like, I grow these long, clear hairs, but no one can really see them in my recordings, so, it looks no difference to you guys, so, as it's December, and I shaved, unfortunately, I nicked my upper lip, so, for those of you who are unav unavoidably gonna ask, like, hey, what's with your, what's with your face, why is it weird, well, there, now you know, it's, it's because I unfortunately nicked my lip whilst shaving, and that's, the result of that but it should heal pretty quick I mean it was bleeding and stuff but it'll it'll, it'll get better I'm sure but yeah I managed to clear that wave though and fight off Singed I wasn't really looking to fight him and try and kill him as I don't think it's really worth the time he's only seven he's not really worth that much gold at this point point. and to add on to that it would just take a lot we have to invest a lot at this point to kill Singe without our team around killing him on our own is difficult and my team's are getting a kill down Ivor which is good and they're also gonna get Shaco but their team's pushing down mid I'm just gonna try and clear the wave up here and do some damage to Ezreal and the Siege Minion. I might just kill this guy. I will. Nice. Well, I don't know what else I can do. I got the balls here, though. Okay, Lazillion's gonna die. Ooh, he's gonna pop his Alden himself, though. And I don't know if we can do this. I think we can. Ooh, my ball didn't quite reach. Damn. Another thing I want to mention here, actually, that I haven't mentioned this game, is I'm maxing the W second. The reason you want to max W second is because as Syndra, when you max out your abilities, you get extra benefits. And when you max out your W, you're able to throw more spheres or more orbs, right? Or, you know, more bowels. And so with that, it's pretty great because you can normally only throw one, but with this, you can now throw multiple. I mean, look at this. I can literally throw three balls, or I guess only two, but you can throw up to an additional two. And that's really strong. Let's go ahead and just walk on away if we can. Oh, why is the tower hitting me? I'm gonna live anyways. Wow, that is lucky. So incredibly lucky. Let's go ahead and do some damage to Singed here. I want to keep my distance though, just in case the poison gets me. Alright, there we go. Oh, I'll finish some off. Very nice. Go ahead and hit up the turret a little bit. And actually, Ivern's going on me here. I think I might be dead. The tower's focusing me, but I'm actually still alive. No! Daisy, no! Alright, let's just hold on to Daisy for a bit. Throw her back into the tower. Nah! Get out of here. That was a weird noise. Why, why did I make that noise? Can we knock away Ivern? I'm just trying to help. I like how I'm playing as this team of people that I can throw their freaking most damage source. That's so funny. I can throw Daisy around. I can throw the Shaco boxes around. If only I could throw a zillion bombs at people. Alright, Shaco's probably going for me. Yeah, and he, I think I knocked him away with that too. We got him with the W though, very nice. The shield from Locket was a little bit too late, so Vayne is gonna go down there. That's unfortunate. But hey man, we're at 9, 1, and 6. Pretty good game for us, pretty good farm as well. Unfortunately for them, it's just one of those games where I got huge because they had a really bad matchup mid. And you know, this was a draft normals where I first picked Syndra. You'd think they would put a better opponent against a Syndra mid than Shaco. Cause like, I don't know, I kinda see it the same way as I see Heimerdinger. Right? Like, you don't put Heimerdinger against the Syndra, because Heimerdinger is going to get his turrets thrown away. Right? Like, that's no good. Like, why would you put yourself through this? Beats me, man. And we can almost afford the Rabadons. I'm just going to wait for it, because I really want that Rabadons third. That's going to be a lot of fun. And we'll just we'll just nuke some kids. It'll be great. Yeah, because our AP is at 268, and it's going to be probably in the 500 range, I think, with Rabadons. 470, and then... Oh no, I'm only 470. Huh. I thought the number would actually bounce up based on the t the flat mount, and then it would bounce up again by the percentage, but instead it's only 470. So I guess my math is really bad, but still, 470 is nothing to shrug at. That is pretty good amount of AP for 24 minutes. We are really strong. So let's go down mid here and see what we can find. This Ezreal's still pretty strong, so I think if there's anyone who's going to carry on their team, it's going to be him. And that and keep in mind, like there's the, this game is not over. Zillion provides his team with the ability to have six champions in the map. Not all at once, but in a team fight, they can have six champions be a part of the fight because they can revive one person almost fully. And that is really strong. Ezreal's also pretty fed, but Vayne's doing some nice damage to him. It looks like he will get you caught here. Let's go ahead and just get rid of Shaco, though. I'm not sure which one's the real one, so I'm going to try and hit both. And we know this one's the real one now. Auto attacks to the death. All right, nice. And what's next? Ezreal's going to shift over here. We're going to finish him off, build the orb. All right, who's next? 
I'm gonna go for an Ivern. Okay, there's the kill there for Thresh, actually. And that's all their team dead except for Singed. Okay, so maybe this game is kind of over. <laughs> maybe just a little bit. Let's go ahead and just knock these minions around and push the wave. But actually, Singed is back. What is he doing? Oh, that hook. Beautiful. Alright, that's gonna be the kill. I guess Singed just wanted to die. I guess 9 deaths wasn't enough for him. A GG. Yeah, they are gonna surrender this one. So that's the game here, guys. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to drop that like rating. It helps with the channel very, very much, and I would really appreciate it. I realize this game is a little bit of a stomp, but you want... I'm actually pretty happy with this game, not because it was a stomp, but because I feel like I played well and I had a good commentary and I showed you guys a lot about Syndra and a lot of different mechanics and stuff. So if you guys did like that, make sure to rate the video and subscribe for more. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, I guess. I don't really stream much right these days, but, you know, all the social media is down below. Discord link, check that out. And, of course, the Instagram as well if you're into fitness. And that is all here, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.